The success team at Bubble is responsible for empowering users throughout their Bubble journey. They ease the learning curve and amplify feedback for all of our users, those who are self-serve, our enterprise sales prospects, and our enterprise accounts. Success is made up of a lot of layers, including a chatbot, a 24-7 support motion, and internal teams of Bubble experts. You've probably experienced at least one of these layers yourself, but the success team made many internal improvements in 2024 that might affect your app development experience, all for the better. To show you how it all works together, we'll walk through an example customer story. Let's meet our main character. Our book of business, or Bob for short, will be the main POV for our story. We're gonna follow him on his journey experiencing the Bubble product and in turn, the Bubble success team. Bob represents many of our users at Bubble. He has some big ideas for a startup, but he doesn't have any technical programming expertise to bring them to life. He does a bit of research, decides to build on Bubble, and he starts his first app. After he tinkers in the editor for a while, he realizes he's hitting a bit of a wall. He wants to integrate ChatGPT into his app, but he has no idea how. That's where our success team comes into play. Bob goes to our support page and uses the bot to ask how to incorporate ChatGPT into his app. The bot has been trained on all of Bubble's resources and supplies him with our API documentation and AI build guide, which Bob reads and uses to figure out his own integration. We're proud to say that the AI bot resolves 60% of chat support tickets within minutes, getting devs back to building faster than ever. When Bob first started out with Bubble, he had a bunch of ideas. He built two of them and launched them both with starter plans. Now a few weeks have passed and it's clear that one of his apps is taking off, while the other isn't gaining any traction. He wants to focus all of his time and funds into the app that is doing well, so he decides to cancel the other plan. Bob found what he needed with the chatbot last time, so he turns to it again and asks how to cancel his plan. Due to the work we did this year, Bob uses the cancellation and refund automations right in the bot. And by the end of his conversation, the bot has done all the work for him. His plan is canceled and his credit request is pending. Okay, let's fast forward to a few days later. Bob has successfully built out several core functions in his app, but while working late one night, he runs into some unexpected behavior. His API workflows suddenly aren't running. So he fills out a bug report at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, and this becomes one of the approximately 1,200 tickets that make it to our 24-7 support team every week. The team acknowledges his report within half an hour, giving Bob the assurance that he's being heard and taken care of. Thankfully, the behavior he's running into is a common confusion that we have documented internally, so our 24-7 team is able to recognize what he's describing and send a solution. Bob can continue his late night build. More time passes, and then Bob runs into a new unexpected behavior in his live app. Since he got an answer so quickly last time for his after hours bug, he knows to go to our bot and submit a bug report. Our 24-7 team acknowledges his report and cross-checks it against all the internally documented confusions. This time, nothing matches. Once we've confirmed that the issue isn't already documented and it will need further investigation by our advanced technical support team, our 24-7 team gathers any necessary information from Bob for the investigation. When it's ready, they note the impacted product feature area and escalate it. This becomes one of the approximately 320 tickets received by our advanced team in a typical week. Bubble's advanced technical team receives the ticket and starts investigating further. They realize that the unexpected behavior in Bob's app is actually stemming from a deeper issue with drop-down elements. After some proactive collaboration, the team confirms that we're receiving a few other reports that route back to dropdowns. Once it's clear that Bob isn't the only one experiencing this problem, the team creates a special ticket to track widespread issues and escalates it to our engineering team. An automation routes it with the right priority level to the right engineering sub-team. While we wait on updates from the engineering team, success keeps all of the users impacted by the problem informed on the status of the investigation. Then, as soon as the engineering team marks the issue as resolved, our automations notify us to get back to users like Bob to confirm that a fix has been deployed. Another few months pass. Bob's app is growing successfully and he joins our mobile beta so that his app's users can have a native experience in his app on the go. 
He runs into some unexpected behavior in his mobile editor and again fills out a bug report. After acknowledging Bob's report, our 24-7 team again recognizes that this will require a bit more investigation to unblock. They follow process and escalate the ticket to our advanced technical team. The mobile team's product manager and product marketing manager worked closely with success prior to launching the mobile beta, so the advanced technical team is familiar with the new mobile editor and well-versed on helping Bob get unstuck. It turns out what Bob is experiencing isn't actually a bug, he just needs some help learning the ins and outs of the platform. So the team provides a solution and shows Bob where to look for other resources to shorten his learning curve. But things don't stop here. Before we officially close out Bob's ticket, our advanced technical team relays Bob's product feedback to the mobile team and documents the ticket solution to strengthen our internal knowledge loop. This way, the next time a user experiences the same issue, our 24-7 team will be able to unblock them even more quickly. Now that Bob has a loyal following of users on his web and mobile apps, he decides to hire more employees to support them. With so many employees, he's starting to think about the security of his logins. After doing some research, Bob thinks that having secure sign-on for his employees to log in to edit the app would be a great step towards enterprise-level security. This year, we compiled a booklet called Welcome to Enterprise and incorporated it into the Bubble Manual, which is searchable in the bot. This means that when Bob searches for how to enable SSO, he sees that it is available on our custom enterprise plans, and the bot gives him the option to set up a conversation with sales. Bob has a face-to-face -face video call where he meets a sales representative from the Bubble team, as well as a member of our Technical Success Management Team, or TSM for short. Our TSM team focuses exclusively on our enterprise prospects and customers, working one-on-one -on -one with these growing users to help their businesses scale with Bubble. On Bob's call, the TSM answers technical questions, performs a live product demonstration, and analyzes Bob's current app's traffic and usage to estimate what hardware configuration would best support his growing needs. Bob is excited to have his own dedicated server to support his app and decides to move forward with an enterprise plan. Now that Bob has signed a contract, it's time to migrate his app to his dedicated hardware. He has another call with TSM to learn how the migration will go, and he receives an email detailing all of that information for reference. After a few hours, his migration is successfully completed, and he receives a third email with instructions on how to take care of his new setup. He also gets a custom enterprise email address to contact TSM if he needs help. Bob's app grew so fast that his original data structure isn't optimized for how many users he now has. He's been emailing back and forth with the TSM team using his dedicated email address for days, but he can't quite understand how to implement the recommendations he's getting. He talks to his account manager and upgrades to premium support which gives him access to monthly face-to-face -face calls with a dedicated technical point of contact and quarterly app audits to help him optimize his app. Bob has been on dedicated hardware for a few months now, and he loves having a direct point of contact during working hours. But now it's 10 p.m. and Bob's users are emailing him like crazy. They can't access the app. This year, we gave enterprise customers special options when they visit the bot. This means that Bob can say that he's experiencing an emergency at any time of day or night without writing a single email. He submits through the bot, our 24-7 team triages and confirms the emergency, and alerts our on-call engineers. Engineers respond to the page, and Bob's users can access his app again within two hours. Everything Bob has experienced so far in our story has been driven by Bob. Success has reacted to his needs and his outreach. But as an enterprise customer, he also gets proactive attention. The main ways we do this are through the account health metric that we created this year and regularly scheduled app audits to confirm privacy and optimize functionality. Account health tracks a variety of inputs to give us a holistic picture of how an account is doing. Most of the time, account health is impacted by overuse of hardware. Bob's users are growing beyond his wildest dreams, which is great, but one day his TSM sees Bob's account health is red. They perform a quick review of the workflows and pages using the most of his resources. The TSM makes a few recommendations to optimize Bob's app, 
But this level of usage is looking like the new normal for Bob, and he expects his user base to continue to grow. Bob's TSM suggests that Bob increase his hardware. Bob definitely wants to avoid downtime, so he accepts the need to upgrade his hardware to better support his app's users. Bob's account health is back in the green. The other way we proactively support our customers is through regular app audits. Bob is on our premium support tier, which means he gets app audits every quarter. This quarter, we made a few recommendations for Bob. We call these Product Guidance Recommendations, or PGRs. And we track the extent to which Bob and other accounts implement our recommendations. Bob has implemented two of our recommendations. We'll keep offering new ones every quarter until Bob's app is as optimized as can be. Bob is a happy, growing bubble founder, and we hope you're inspired by his story. In the coming year, we're going to be making our processes even smoother, more reliable, and more accessible 24-7, so that no matter when you or Bob need support, we'll have your back. Reach out to our team on any page of our website. We can't wait to help your app grow. Thank you so much.